Alright guys, so I just got back from uh, the yard sales and I'll just do a rundown of like what I got. So first, uh, I picked up uh, a couple patches from this guy. He had um, some other uniforms and stuff, but I didn't get them. They weren't patched or anything. But this is probably the coolest thing I got from him. It's a helmet cover. It's got the infrared uh, Vel Velcro uh, tabs on them, so you can remove them, put them back on. And this is for a size medium helmet, and the contract is 2001. Most of them are. So I'm not sure if this one would have gone on the older Kevlar helmet or like the newer ACH ones. Um, I think within this time frame, it could have gone on both. But yeah, this cover's in pretty good condition. It's a little faded on top and torn, but yeah, that was cool. I got picked them up for five bucks for all of them. I think that's pretty fair. And then uh, next, uh, we didn't really find much, but at this one yard sale, they had this hanging up. I've never seen anything uh, like this before. I've seen the army like issue, uh, like the Molly vests, you know, like the load carrier type thing. And this one's very similar to it, but it's actually like a survival vest. Uh, CMU 33 slash P22P18. And the contract date is 01. So it's obviously like global war on terror, Iraq, Afghanistan, newer issue. Yeah, and it's in like unused shape except for there's a little hole on the pocket flap. And inside this pocket, it's also got the contract number, and it says Air Crewman Survival, General Pocket. So yeah, it looks like these pouches you can remove and put them anywhere you want, just like the Molly stuff. So it came with uh, these three, just general, or four actually, four general small ones, and then this one big one with a double snap on the lower part. Yeah, this is, uh, I have to do some research on this, and I'll probably find some pictures and, you know, might add, like, some additional pouches to this. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is for, like, a knife or a, some sort of tool, some sort of cover on the shoulder. Uh, I'm not really sure, though. But yeah, uh, apparently he was retiring or something, but this is all he had, so that's pretty cool. And then next, we went to, uh, down the street a little bit, uh, there's this guy, he had a whole bunch of, like, a lot of, like, five tactical tailor pouches, and he wanted 25 for the lot, but I didn't really want to pay that much, so I just picked up, I offered him five for this admin pouch. It's pretty used, uh, you can see tactical tailor, it's got the malice clips, and it's actually, like, really worn, that, like, this back kind of part for both of them is actually like stuck in place you know it's like folded out so I thought that was pretty cool uh, yeah it's got the velcro so you can put patches on it and then uh, picked up this other tactical tailor radio pouch he had another one but he wanted to keep that one because he took it to Iraq with him and I understand that um, yeah this one also has the malice clips on it pretty cool. I forgot what radio he said this was for, but it can't be too many. The army only has a certain number that they, a certain uh, couple that they used. Yeah. It's a uh, used condition too, which I like, you know? It's just character. But all in good working order, you know? And next I uh, went, got a laundry bag. It's uh, pretty nice. It has uh, what is this? T Jack written on it. T J A C. Not sure really what that means, but yeah, just their generic laundry bag. And I was looking for a duffel bag because I only have one, but I uh, now that I have two, I can put uh, gear in one and clothes in the other. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's got some neat like stenciling on the bottom. It's kind of cool. Don't know what it means. But yeah, this is like really good condition just the straps are kind of faded but yeah it's just your generic you know government issue uh, duffel bag and then uh went to nearby park 
and this guy had like bins of his army stuff. I actually bought uh, some patches from him last year, but this time I got a just a you know uh, issued mag pouch, and I was able to pick up his beret. So this is the 296 uh, Sustainment Battalion, I believe. It's attached to the 2nd Infantry Division, the uh, 1st Striker Brigade. So I thought that was pretty cool. I have uh, another Bray, but it's just the generic 2nd uh, Infantry Division uh, pin on it. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And this pouch will go on... I have uh, the Molly Vest, so... I think I have three of them now, which is what you need, but I also need two triple mag pouches and uh, two grenade pouches to complete it. He also had this nice woodland uh, load carrier, like the, the, it's like the new Molly, when they came out with the Molly to replace the load bearing vest, or the load bearing suspender things, they had uh, the Molly vest, and it was really used, it had the canteen cover and two grenade pouches. I don't believe there are any mag pouches though, but he wanted 25 for it, which is pretty much retail, and I wasn't gonna, you know, it wasn't really worth it for me, and I didn't really want it, you know, so that's pretty cool. And then my brother, he got these two, uh, I'll cover up the name, but he got these two uh, chaplain uniforms in a free bin. I thought that was pretty cool, with again the 2nd Infantry Division, and you can see the chaplain insignia. So yeah, they're medium short and pretty good shape. The patches are really nice. Yeah, chaplain stuff is fairly uncommon. Uh, you don't see a lot of them like in any period of military like memorabilia type thing. So it is newer, so but it's still pretty uncommon. But yeah, so it was pretty fun. Uh, saw a lot of stuff, but. Last year seemed to be bigger for some reason. There's a lot more people selling stuff, but still sound like good deals, you know. I think I only paid like probably like thirty bucks for all of this, you know. Oh, one more thing. I got this uh some free wood. I'm really happy about that actually. Because uh it's nice, thin, not really any cracks, you know. In good shape. And I'm gonna make some more patch boards like the one I have in the back. So I have some uh, some of the leftover felt I'm gonna use and uh, attach it on the board and put some patches. And maybe using these smaller ones, I can like get put groupings, you know, patches I get from the same person or something. I can also like just put fabric on it and maybe like sew some patches or something like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out and I'll probably do a video on it too. Just like tutorial. I know there are tutorials out there. That's what I used. For if you look at like do it yourself like morale patch board. But yeah. It's pretty nice. And uh, that's it. So please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Whenever I go to an estate sale or yard sale or whatever.